Evaluate 3 and 1 half minus x when x is equal to 5 and x is equal to negative 5. And there's a bunch of different ways to think about this, and we'll just go through all of them in this video. So first of all, we just can evaluate this expression when first when x is equal to 5. So it evaluates as 3 and 1 half minus, instead of an x, we have a 5 over there. And so let's draw this on the number line. Let's draw a number line over here. And I'll let's see, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let me put some negative numbers here. Negative 1, negative 2 as well. And we're starting at 3 and 1 half. We are starting at 3 and 1 half. And so there's a couple of ways you can visualize what it means to subtract 5 from 3 and 1 half. Since we're subtracting a positive number, you could view that literally as just stepping 5 to the left. So let's do that. So minus 5 literally means stepping 5 to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it gets us to negative 1 and 1 half. And that would be the right answer, negative 1 and 1 half. Another way to think about it, and it would really involve the same idea of stepping 5 to the left, but thinking about it from a slightly different angle, is that 3 and 1 half minus 5, you could rewrite it as 3 and 1 half. Subtracting anything is the same thing as adding the opposite of that number. So it would be the same thing as adding it would be the same thing as adding negative 5. And this might be a little bit more useful for you, because you can actually visualize what, the, what each of these numbers look like at the number line, and then you can think about what it means to add them. And let me show you, give you an example of that. If I have, if I have the number 1, if I want to draw it on a number line, it looks like this. This is 0, this is 1, this is 2. And we could keep going. And we could also go in the negative direction. But 1, actually let me do it in pink, 1 would look like this. 1 would look like this. If I were to do 1 plus 2, so if I were to do 1 plus 2, well, let's independently draw what 2 looks like on the number line. So let me draw 2 over here. So if I have 2, 2 on the number line, 2 on the number line, we could have 0, 1, 2, 3, 2 on the number line. And this is, you know, you learned this when you were very young, but I'm just going to make you maybe look at it in a slightly different way. 2 on a number line looks like this. So what is 1 plus 2? So let's draw our number line. Let's draw another number line over here. Let's draw another number line. 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if you have 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, you're going to start at 1. So you have the number 1 there, just like we drew it over there. And when you add 2 to it, when you add 2 to it, you start off where you left off at the 1, and then you add 2 from that point. And this is all, you know, this is all hopefully reviewed for you. And then you get to 3. You get to the number 3. Or if you add up those two arrows, you get to the number 3. This is equal to 3. So the same idea is when we're doing when we're adding a negative number. So let's do it that way. So we can already think about what 3 and a half looks like. 3 and a half, I'll draw it over here. 3 and a half looks like this. If we draw it with an arrow, 3 and a half would look like that. That would be 3 and a half. What does negative 5 look like? I'll draw another number line here to draw negative 5. So let me draw. So if we have negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, negative 5 looks like this. It, is, it has an absolute value of 5. It, is, it has a length, or it, has a, it is 5 away from 0, but it's to the left of 0. So negative 5 looks like this. Negative 5 looks like this. So if we're going to take 3 and we're going to add negative 5, you do the exact same thing. Wherever we left off, or we're going to if we're going to take 3 and a half and add negative 5, wherever we left off with 3 and a half, we then place we then add negative 5 to it. So we start over here and we add negative 5. We add this number. So we put our arrow. We could put it right over there, but it would make it hard to read. We take our arrow, start there, and then we put negative. We add negative 5 to it. And adding negative 5 is completely equivalent to going five spaces to the left on the number line. So whatever is a more helpful way of visualizing it, that's fine, as long as you really understand what it means to subtract 5, or what it means to subtract a larger number from a smaller number, and really understand why it got us to negative 1 and 1 half. Now, let's try the same thing when x is equal to negative 5. 
x is equal to negative 5. So this expression will become this expression will become 3 and a half minus, instead of an x, we're now going to have a negative 5. 3 and a half minus negative 5. And once again, several ways to think about this. But maybe the easier one in this one is to think of subtraction, as we said before. Subtracting a number is the same thing as adding its opposite. So in this case, subtracting a number is the same thing. This is the same thing as adding its opposite. So subtracting negative 5 is the same thing as adding as adding positive 5. Or this is just the same thing as adding 5. So you could just say this is the same thing as 3 and a half plus 5. Another way to think about it is that, and you'll hear this in some context, is that when you have two negatives, if you subtract a negative, that cancels out. Subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding a positive. They're really just two different ways of saying the same thing. But 3 and a half plus 5, you might be able to do in your head. 3 and a half is 3 plus 1 half. And then to that, we're going to add 5. 3 plus 5 is 8, plus 1 half is 8 and a half. Or if we want to do it the way we've been doing everything else, we could draw it out on the number line. So I'll start at 0. Let me draw the number line. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And so we're starting at 3 and a half. So this is 3 and a half, right? Let me do this in another color. So we're going to start at 3 and a half. This is 3 and a half. And to that, we are going to add 5. We're going to add 5. I could independently plot 5 on the number line, but we're adding 5. So we're actually going to shift it. And we're going to start it where 3 and a half left off, and we're going to add 5. So the length right over here is 5, and we're going 5 to the right. We're adding a positive number. 5 to the right gets us to 8 and a half. We moved 5 spaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So hopefully that makes some sense to you. And it was a little bit long-winded, but the reason why I wanted to go long-winded is so that no matter how it's explained to you, you understand that the basic idea is the same.